Welcome back to Picture the Book from the Olds Municipal Library. If you're ready, let's start with our hello song. Are you ready? It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day for clapping. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day for clapping. Clapping, clapping, it's a beautiful day for clapping. I want to stretch to you. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day for stretching. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day for stretching. Stretching, stretching, it's a beautiful day for stretching. I feel a bit more ready. Let's do our wave. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day for waving. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day for waving. Waving, waving, it's a beautiful day for waving. I'm so happy you came back today. Let's do, the more we get together, all of those signs. Do you remember? More, together. Happiness lives in your tummy and comes out like a great big wave. That's why when you're happy and full of giggles, other people usually start giggling too. Because happiness spills on everybody. Happy and friends. Friends are together like that. Even when friends, like you and me, are only together this way, I'm still happy to see you. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be for your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. I'm feeling pretty happy today, are you? I have a new rhyme for you all about these things. Ready? It goes like this. Fee, fi, fo, Thumb, see my fingers, see my thumb. Fee, fi, fo, thumb. Goodbye, fingers. Goodbye, thumb. Silly, isn't it? Should we try it one more time? Here we go. Fee, fi, fo, thumb. See my fingers, see my thumb. Fee, fi, Fo thumb. <gasps> Goodbye, fingers. Goodbye, thumb. Now, are you ready to read a story? Okay, today's story, well, both of today's stories take place in a dark, dark cave. In fact, our first book is called A Dark, Dark Cave. It's by Eric Hoffman, and it's illustrated by Corey R. Taylor. Let's see what's inside that dark, dark cave. The pale moon glows as the cold wind blows in the dark, dark cave. Bats in flight disappear from sight in a dark, dark Something crawls up and down the walls of a dark, dark cave. Shiny eyes, what occupies this dark, dark cave? Giant paws stretch out their claws 
in a dark, dark cave. Meow! What makes that noise? A kitty, right? An angry kitty. Happy kitties say purr or meow, right? Wild beasts howl as they stomp and prowl in a dark, dark cave. <gasps> What's that? A light. Who comes in sight of this dark, dark cave? Roar! That's too loud, kids. Find a quiet game. The baby's sleeping. Are you ever told that at home? Two horses run in the bright, bright sun to a blanket barn wearing manes of yarn playing happily in what used to be a dark, dark cave. Nee! Do you ever make a blanket for it like they did in this book? Have you ever had somebody read you a story in a blanket fort? I have. I've read stories in a blanket fort. They can be some of the best stories because you're all snuggled in already. Maybe after this story time, somebody might build you a blanket fort if you ask nicely. But before somebody does that, let's do a couple of jumping up and down rhymes. Fishies in the water, fishies in the sea. We all jump up on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Did you jump? Good. Now, let's do that five, four, three, two, one. And let's change the animals again. Maybe to some of the animals we saw in that last book. Do you remember? There was a bat and a cat and a pony. Let's start with our pony. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. This little pony has lots of fun. First jumps up, then jumps down, and then goes clip clop off to town. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, off to town. Ready? Bat. Five, four, three, two, one. This little. Ready? A bat. Five, four, three, two, one. This little bat has lots of fun. First jumps up, then jumps down, and then goes flapping off to town. Flapping, 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 flapping off to town. Ready? Cat next. Five, four, three, two, one. This little cat has lots of fun. First jumps up, then jumps down, and then goes prowling off to town. Prowling, 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 off to town. Nice job. You can do that with all kinds of creatures. We just have to figure out how they move. But let's do Tony Chestnut. Are you ready? Do you remember? Toe, knee, chest, and this is my nut. Here we go. Toe, knee, chest, nut, nose, I love you. Toe, knee, nose, toe, knee, nose. Toe, knee, chest, nut, nose, I love you. That's what Tony knows. Nice job. It's kind of silly, isn't it? I like those silly ones. 
Now, you remember last week we did head and shoulders, knees and toes? Well, let's do it again. You ready? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. And you remember the silly version we did too? Okay, here we go. Head and shoulders, tummy and bum, tummy and bum, tummy and bum, head and shoulders, tummy and bum, eyes, ears, mouth and thumb. Pretty silly. I like the silly ones. But we're going to have to get ready for a book. Are you ready? Let's do our We Can Jump. Ready? We can jump, jump, jump. We can hop, hop, hop. We can clap, clap, clap. We can stop, stop, stop. We can nod our head yes and shake our head no. And bend our knees a little bit and sit down slow. Here we go. Okay, let's go back inside that cave with The Very Cranky Bear by Nick Bland. In the jingle, jingle, jungle on a cold and rainy day, four furry friends found the perfect place to play. Moose had marvelous antlers and lion had a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep well, sheep was plain. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in the cave was a very cranky bear. Roar, said the cranky bear. Roar, roar, roar. He gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So in a jingle, jangle, jungle, on a cold and rainy day, four furry friends had nowhere warm to play. Wait a minute, said the zebra as she scratched her furry chin. Maybe if we cheered him up, he'd let us come back in. If I didn't have my stripes, he said, I'd be cranky too. We should give that bear some stripes. That's what we should do. Do you think he'd look good with stripes? Stripes are silly, said the mouse, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up. Let's give the bear a pair. What do you think? Do you think he'd look good with antlers? Hmm. No, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a bore. A golden mane like mine, he said, would cheer him up for sure. So, Zebra fetched a can of mud and Lion some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches and Sheep? Well, Sheep got cold. Sheep was getting worried. They've been eaten up for sure. And then, from inside the cave there came a very cranky roar. Zebra lion moose ran out and bear was right behind him. They hid behind some bushes where they hoped bear couldn't find them. Why is he so cranky? We gave him antler stripes and a mane. Before we gave him those, well, he looked kind of plain. As bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and roared at sheep. All I really wanted was a quiet place to sleep. So Sheep fetched a pair of clippers and she clipped off half her wool. She stuffed it in a cotton bag until that bag was full. She tiptoed back inside the cave. Excuse me, Bear, she said. Would you like a pillow for underneath your head? Well, Thank you very much, 
said Bear, and soon fell fast asleep. Maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep. That worked out pretty good for sheep. Remember, it's cold and rainy outside, and now sheep is half naked. Oh, it'd be very cold sheep. Now, we're going to sing a song about where animals sleep in the winter time because some animals, like a bear, sleep all winter long. Are you ready? This one is called hibernation. Hibernation, time for hibernation. Hibernation, time to go to sleep. In the winter, where's the bear? Sleeping in the log or lair. Where's the bear? Log or lair. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. Hibernation. Time for hibernation. Hibernation. Time to go to sleep. In the winter, where's the frog? Sleeping underneath the log. Where's the frog? Under the log. Where's the bear? Log or lair? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hibernation. Time for hibernation. Hibernation. Time to go to sleep. In the winter, where's the snake? Sleeping underneath the lake. Where's the snake? Under the lake. Where's the frog? Beneath the log. Where's the bear? Log or lair. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Hibernation. Time for hibernation. Hibernation. Time to go to sleep. In the winter, where's the bat? In the cave is where it's at. Where's the bat? Cave it's at. Where's the snake? Under the lake. Where's the frog? Beneath the log. Where's the bear? Log or lair. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Hibernation. Time for hibernation. Hibernation. Time to go to sleep. Best wake up, right? Let's do one more rhyme where we use our fingers. Let's do open them, shut them, and then we'll do an activity from our box. You ready? Here we go. Close them up tight. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your nose, nose, nose. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right down to your toes, toes, toes. Tickly little fingers. But my fingers are ready. Let's do an activity from our activity box. Today, we're going to look for a fork painted bear. Can you paint with a fork? You will today. Here we go. Okay, we have one, two, three colors of brown. This one is harder than these ones. This is your cardstock. This is going to be the back of your painting. On this, we're going to take our brown from our cup and our fork. And these are our painting tools today. We're going to just pour it on. Now you see I'm starting to make my circle before the brown even comes out. That's lots of paint. 
Does it seem like lots of paint? Well, it is. This is my tool, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to get it, start getting it wet. And just like that, I'm going to paint myself a furry bear. I'm just going to keep turning, and I can push it or I can pull it, and they give different kinds of looks. Furry bear, right? Oh, and I want to keep it still fairly circular. I'm going to keep moving it. And I don't want it too heavy in the middle, so I'm going to make sure I grab it on my brush and use some of those pieces. on my brush, on my fork. And just like that, he's done. Now he needs to dry. We're going to do some cutting. I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to fold it in half. doesn't really matter if I fold it lengthwise or widthwise because I'm going to be cutting it. Now, I'm going to cut this edge right here and take my scissors and start by cutting all the way around. Now I just have this shape. So when I open it, okay, but I don't want a square. I don't want it just a frame. I want jagged pieces and I want lots of different shapes to my jagged pieces. So I'm going to cut into it over and over. And I'm going to cut and cut and cut lots of little jagged pieces all the way around to make my cave for my fork painted bear. It's not that hard and you're going to find that it goes quick. All I have to remember is not to cut all the way through. So it's all jagged now and I can take those pieces away and now I have my cave frame. And I'm going to work on cutting out this. Now there's no shapes on mine. So to make it easier, I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to draw the shapes that I want. I want an oval and I want now one shape I think that'll do and I'm gonna cut them out it's done so now I have one two three of those I have my eyes and I'm gonna take remember this a bit of my scrap a small section out of that and I can freeform cut a circle harder than drawing it with a line first I have that and I think I have everything I need to make my bear I'm going to bring this back and I need some glue. My magic purple glue again and I'm going to put glue oops, all the way around the whole edge. And now I can 
plop it right down on top of my painting. So now my bake bear is going to be in the cave. So I'm going to put glue on the back of my shapes and pop them on. So he has a muzzle and one, two ears, and there's his nose, and then his one, two eyes. And I have a fork painted bear. And if I want to do a bit more detail, I can draw a line down and make an upside down Y. He looks a little bit concerned. I can give him eyebrows. I can take that brown again. And actually cutting it along that, cutting it on that folded side again. I can make the shade, same shape twice. That looks better. My fork painted bear. Wow, that was fast. We're at the end already. But before we can be done, we have to say goodbye. Are you ready? My Hands say goodbye with a clap, clap, clap. My feet say goodbye with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. Take a bow. That's all for now. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next week, and we'll have a bit more fun.